Hi there. This is a new violet ray I just bought. It's of, of course it's not new, but it's in very pristine conditions. And the interesting thing is that it came also with the instruction for its use. And here on the last page of the instruction, you can see this is basically the warranty. And it says this device was bought on the, and then there's the dots, which had to be filled in 1920. And there's more dots here to fill in the exact year. So it's a machine that is almost a hundred years old. It came as well with a list of all the possible electrodes that one could buy back then. And there's really lots of them. So the device is in very good condition, as I said, you can see it still works and I'm going to test it quickly. Put the electrode. Right away. So it's still working, but it doesn't have much power. It's not working very well. It does work, but not very nicely. So I already opened it. There are three places here where there's, uh, there were screws. One is here, one is here, and one is he here. And so I already took those screws off. And this is the circuitry inside. And you can see there's the coil. And this is the condenser. This is what I'm going to replace because this is still made of paper and aluminum foil. It's very old and it's probably kind of broken. And that's the reason why it doesn't work that strong anymore. The interesting thing about this violet ray, and it's the first time I, I see it and I've already opened three or four of them, is that this one doesn't even have a pot potentiometer. It's basically when I turn the screw in the front, what happens is the spark gap is being moved open and closed. So it's really a direct action on the opening of the spark gap. And this is uh, for those who have seen a few violet rays. This is quite interesting because it's not common. Let's say probably the reason why it's like this, it's a very old one, it's of the 1920s. And so I guess so, but I'm not sure. I'm not an expert. Anyway, let's see how to replace the condenser, which is probably the component which causes the, the value rate to, to have a weak output.
Okay, that was the replacement of uh, the condenser. And as you can probably see now, the device is much more powerful. The sparks are bigger and I'm just doing it very low. I can put it up. And um, yeah, it works better now. The only thing I wanted to add is that if somebody has doubts or doesn't really know how to work in the electrical system of the machine, uh, I, I mean, what we did to replace the condenser doesn't make the antique electrical system more safe. So uh, you, some people say you might still get some, uh, some shocks or whatever. I'm using them since a couple of years. I'm using the old ones which I replaced in which I replaced the condenser. I didn't have any real problems, but anyway, what I would suggest for people who don't really know how to put their hands into the electrical system is uh, there are a few companies you can find them online which sell antique violet ray which are completely refurbished. They look like new, but they keep the the old technology and add some safety systems which are according to modern electrical systems. So um, that is my suggestion for whoever doesn't really know how to work on the electrical system of a violet ray. Anyway, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Cheers.